example of a very precise prediction concerns our yolk. However, eutherian mammals like us have a placenta that made the yolk sac obsolete. The yolk sac is not obsolete. Think about it. If the yolk sac is a worthless remnant nowadays, like he says, then obviously it can be cut off from the human embryo because it isn't needed, right? Not at all. The yolk sac is the source of the human embryo's first blood cells and a blood nutrient supply. It's 100% required, as death would result without it. Lumen, the Boundless Anatomy and Physiology website, even tells us blood is conveyed in the walls of the sac by the primary aorta. After circulating through a wide meshed capillary plexus, it is returned by the vitiline veins in the tubular heart of the embryo. This vitriline circulation absorbs nutrient material from the yolk sac that is conveyed to the embryo. It is true that the yolk sac of birds and reptiles contain yolk to nourish the embryo, but the placental mammal's yolk contains no yolk at all. Also, this so-called yolk sac is not a source of nourishment as it is for birds, or in a bird egg. Rather, its purpose and design is that of blood supply, proving it is not proof of evolutionary leftover remnants. To say that it's lost its primary function is intellectually dishonest. It's always had a function, and it was that of blood supply. Even Wikipedia acknowledges its importance by saying its function as the developmental circulatory system of the human embryo before internal circulation begins. Even embryologists today no longer call it a yolk sac, but umbilical vessel because of its vital importance. This excerpt was taken from Larson's Human Embryology, 4th edition. The definitive yolk sac remains a major structure associated with the developing embryo through the fourth week and performs important early functions. Extraembryotic mesoderm forming in the outer layer of the yolk sac is a major site of hematopoiesis. Primordial germ cells can first be identified in humans in the wall of the yolk sac, even by mistake or mutation, a human being cannot produce yolks or gills because we don't have and never had the DNA instructions for that. It's disingenuous to say that this proves evolution. Even study.com states, it was originally thought that human yolk sac was a vestigial organ, no longer of use to the embryo. But research over the past decade or so has brought new insight into the use of the yolk sac by the embryo. Also consider vitrolene circulation the system of blood flowing from the embryo to the yolk sac and back again. This system would not even exist at all without the yolk sac. This was never a useless leftover remnants of a yolk sac. It was never a yolk sac at all and should never have been called one. Hence the modern day name change. Do you see the lengths evolutionists have to go to to present any evidence to support the lie? One can only wonder why evolutionists would call the structure by the wrong name and label it a primitive when it's absolutely necessary for the survival of the developing individual. However, eutherian mammals like us have a placenta that made the yolk sac obsolete.